Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a day in my life. Since we are just about halfway through 2023, which I can't believe, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a mid-year reset today. As content creators, we work in the world of social media where things are constantly changing. So even though we set goals back in January, it's always good to check in and reevaluate, see if we're on track and see where we might need to pick up steam in order to actually meet our goals. It's Tuesday, June 27th. It's very overcast outside today, which to me is kind of the perfect day to hunker down, sit in front of my laptop and get some stuff done. So today I do want to do my reset and kind of plan out the second half of 2023 and what that's going to look like for me as a content creator. So I'm going to be going through my goals that I set at the beginning of the year, seeing how far along I am and seeing what needs to be adjusted moving forward for the next six months. I also really need to do laundry today my laundry bin is overflowing as we speak. And other than that, a couple of things I wanna get done today are my YouTube video is going up. Actually, it just went up one minute ago while I was talking. So I'm going to share that on my Instagram stories, schedule some pins and schedule content for Twitter and Facebook to promote the video. I'm going to write my newsletter, which is going out tomorrow. And I'm also doing a YouTube channel audit for another creator. If you don't know, this is a service I offer where basically I will go through and do an audit of your YouTube channel and tell you things that I think you could improve, both kind of visually, just looking at things, and also from an SEO standpoint. So I really love doing these. I haven't done them in a while, but I'll leave the link below to my services page where you can learn more about that. And also definitely want to post to Reels and TikTok today. I am going to pull photos for another one of my style rewinds and if I have time, I might try to film one or two other things for short form. But that's what I have ahead. I'm gonna ease into my day by working on the YouTube promo stuff and my newsletter first. I also just saw that an episode of the Podfluencer Society, which I was recently interviewed for, just came out today. So I am the guest on this most recent episode. It's hosted by Angie Griffith. And the episode that we recorded is all about my five-step process for calculating your rates for social media. So I will leave a link to the episode down below in the description box in case you'd like to listen. And I'm so glad I noticed this because I am about to start work on my email newsletter for tomorrow. And I definitely want to include a little shout out that I was on the podcast and a link for people to listen. Today's YouTube video has been uploaded and promoted across platforms, including taking a snippet from the long video and uploading it or scheduling it, I should say, to YouTube Shorts. And I also went in and wrote my email newsletter that's going out tomorrow. And I made some cute little graphics for it to share the podcast episode I was telling you about. That is all done. It's 12.14 now, so I feel like I should figure out what I'm gonna have for lunch. I did go to Trader Joe's yesterday and we did get HelloFresh this week, which I use for dinners. But then just figuring out lunch is always a bit of a struggle. So we're gonna do a Trader Joe's freezer meal. And since it's just me here today, Andrew is working from his office. That means I get to eat something that I like that he does not like. So we're gonna do this mushroom flatbread. I'm always so shook by anything that says place directly on oven rack. Like I'm sure that that's fine, but I don't live on the edge that way. So I'm gonna put some tin foil on a baking sheet, have this take maybe a little YouTube break while I eat lunch and then we'll get into our afternoon work. I'm also gonna take my vitamins. I do two of these Vitafusion Women's Multi every day. And then I do one of these Digestive Ollie mango ones. They honestly taste like gummy candy too, which is great. Okay, so we have relocated 
to the couch post lunch. I don't actually work from the couch that often, but when I'm doing kind of like any brainstormy sessions, I do like being on the couch. Basically, if you're not familiar, if you set any goals back at the beginning of the year, this is a great time of year to check in with them, see how things are going, make any adjustments or things that you need to, and also really celebrate your progress. I personally had kind of a hard Q2, like just in the sense of always feeling like I was working on the wrong thing or like self-doubt or just wondering like if what I was doing was a good use of my time and just constantly questioning that. And I feel like I really need this now more than ever just to realign and like confirm with myself that I am on the right track, I am working on the right things and that, you know, also a lot of things from a creative perspective take time and as much as you might want to be like plowing through a checklist and checking something new off every minute that's not always how it is especially with kind of bigger more thoughtful long-term goals so I am just gonna try to go through this and focus on what I really have achieved in the last six months think about how I can use some of that as a jumping off point for the next six months and also see, again, what areas in here are worth continuing with and what areas maybe are not as big of a priority to me now as they were at the beginning of the year. I'm gonna take some time now to review all of the goals that I set, kind of make some marks about where I am, you know, in different areas of my business, like income-wise, creative-wise, growth across social platforms, and see where we're at and figure out my priorities going forward. amazing the effect that the weather can have on your move because I was literally like felt myself slowing down as I was writing and the sun just came out and now I've got a second wind but I think I can benefit from a snack. Gonna use one of our new plates that came in on our registry from Crate and Barrel. I mean I did not have to go so hard on this but it's beautiful. You guys, this is so just my luck with Instagram. So literally I had my phone on do not disturb and I have a missed call from someone at Instagram. And I know this is real because I got a pop up on my account a couple weeks ago, I guess. Like, oh, can we call you? Talk to you about reels, like one on one call. So I filled out that form, but like I didn't think anyone was actually gonna call me. And like the second I got the text, the call came also, and the text was like, bring your reels questions. And I was like, I don't I get like one second to prepare? The person wrote back and was like, we're on a first come, first serve basis, but if I call again, it'll be from this number. So I'm just like gonna put like Instagram <laughs> in my phone. She's in my phone now as Instagram girl, so I better not miss it. Okay, so it's been a few hours now. It's actually five o'clock, but I wanted to walk you through what I've been scribbling in my notebook. So I have two pages, one for Q1 and Q2 and one for Q3 and Q4. For my reset process, first I write down what did I do in Q1 and Q2? Because I think sometimes it's easy to diminish our accomplishments or just look at numbers and not look like at everything that you actually did. So because I do my to-do list in Notion and I can go back and review them, I was able to go back and see what I worked on every week of the beginning of 2023 and it was actually quite a lot. So I definitely recommend going in and writing down some like maybe top five highlights of what you did each quarter. So for me in Q1, launched my digital course, filed trademarks for my business, hired help slash onboarded freelancers slash contractors. So like Sean, my video editor, um, I hired a virtual assistant during my course launch and also Veronica, who is my lawyer who helped me with my trademark filings. And if you wanna learn more about trademark filings and hear a conversation with Veronica about them, 
I interviewed her a few weeks back, so I'll link that video in the description box. And then in Q2, I went through my digital course and made an updates list. I'm actually in the last module right now, making note of what I want to improve. I wrote down, changed my YouTube strategy and completed a shorts content sprint. I posted three shorts a day in the month of April. That was crazy. And I also have kind of changed my YouTube channel just a little bit, incorporating some vlogs again to show you like a more off the cuff version of my content and my tips. Created high performing Instagram reels and kind of kept recreating them over and over again and have seen some good success and growth on Instagram for the first time in a while. Went to more events and did networking. And then actually just last week, I revamped my blog's homepage. So my top three platforms for growth this year so far have been YouTube and Instagram and then my newsletter in that order. So I do think I'm going to keep these three as my priority platforms for where I want to grow the most in the second half of the year. I also wrote down just very quickly like, oh, where am I excelling or where do I want more? So I feel like I have been very creative and excelling with my short form content lately. And then for where I want more, I wrote down opportunities slash visibility, getting hired by more people, getting more brand deals, that type of thing. And also my blog. I've had a few very weird blog issues in the last few weeks especially so just trying to make sure that with all of the hard work I do with SEO to get people over to my blog that once they're on my website it's a good user experience in the sense of like page speed and how fast images load and how easy it is to navigate the website once you're there so definitely more to come on the blog front for sure. I also wrote down my top three start of year takeaways, and I do recommend grouping things in threes if you're looking for priorities or things like that, because it really helps you get down to what are the actual top things. I wrote growth is a top priority, course was successful, now let's refine, and your uniqueness is powerful because all of the Instagram reels that I've been doing are all a look back on my own personal style. But it is interesting that the content that I am creating that's doing the best, I don't think many other creators could really replicate. So I do think it's more unique to me. Then I wrote down unexpected wins and unexpected challenges. So some unexpected wins, becoming a Pinterest managed creator. So like having an actual contact at Pinterest, getting to attend events with them, be on calls with brand reps and things like that, and also attending wedding events. I attended two in the past quarter with The Knot and with Zola, so that's been extremely exciting. And then unexpected challenges, I wrote down competitive market. We've talked about that plenty on this channel, so I won't go into it now. And also high but necessary expenses. So hiring all of these contractors, um, you know, my accountant and the money I pay towards quarterly taxes, just making note of, hey, a lot of these happened all at once. So just keep an eye out in the future for when those expenses might be coming in. I also wrote down word of the year amplify. Are you still into that? Yes, I am. If you set a word in January, see if it still fits the vibe for the year. And if you didn't set a word in January, no time like the present to set one. And then I wrote down, I wrote down income stream on track, but my, my underline kind of skewed. So for my succession fans, is it underlined or is it crossed out? And for each income stream, I'm trying to worry less about numbers here and just think about more. So I wrote down priorities, stay the course and don't stress. So my priority income streams for the rest of the year are definitely going to be ad revenue from blog and YouTube channel brand deals, and education. So my digital course, my workshops, all of that type of stuff. For Stay the Course, I wrote membership and digital products. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do on that front. And for Don't Stress, I wrote down affiliates and platform incentives. I personally think ad revenue is a much better model than platform incentives anyway. So just grouping them into, again, priorities, Stay the Course, and Don't Stress, I think is a big help in terms of where to turn my attention to for the rest of the year. Okay, and so then on a very similar page right behind it, I did let's plan for Q3 and Q4. So I wrote down three priorities for each quarter. Q3 priorities, number one, make the edits to IIA. So I have a list of everything I wanna change, but actually executing, making the edits and updating the course and possibly relaunching it. That is, <laughs> very dependent on how fast I can get through those edits and how stressed I am about the wedding. So 
updates to come and the wait list for the course is linked down below as always. Continue with consistent short form content on Instagram and YouTube. And I say that because those are my two growth priority platforms. I will absolutely still be posting on TikTok and Pinterest, but I'm gonna let that be more of the catch all and the post whatever I want and just get whatever content up and worry a little bit less about specific strategy because Instagram will be a bit more fashion and beauty oriented. YouTube will be a bit more content strategy oriented, but either of those I think can work on TikTok and Pinterest for me. So that's why those are what I wrote down. And then my third priority is getting married and doing my wedding content plan and what I'm going to be creating content about around the wedding. Because since wedding planning takes time away from content creation, I am just gonna bridge the gap and create more content related to wedding stuff because I know people are actually interested in it. There hasn't really been a ton to share up until this point because you know the wedding hasn't really happened yet, but the next few months are back to back bridal shower, bachelorette, and then wedding. So there is a lot of exciting stuff to come on the horizon and I wanna be organized about the content I'm planning so that after the wedding, I already have a jump start on some stuff and I'm not totally overwhelmed. And then my Q4 priorities are to land more holiday brand deals, which the networking I've done in the last few weeks, hopefully will just pick back up some conversations and the content I'm creating will hopefully also attract more brands to my page. I also want to shoot consistent content and specifically seasonal content. I feel like that does really well and I would love to put the holiday spin on some of my outfit and beauty throwback videos too because I have created so much content like that over the years and either relaunch Influencer Income Accelerator or do a big blog revamp just in the sense of going back and updating old posts, fixing broken links, improving site speed, potentially like hiring someone to come in and look at that side of my blog. I know that passive income stream can be so much bigger than what it is right now and those are just things that I need to make the time to prioritize, which is why I'm writing them down. I also wrote potential fun idea, launch office hours either in Patreon or more as a one-off. So I had this idea of office hours where basically I would log on to Zoom for an hour and you could pay, I don't know how much money, let me know in the comments if what you would wanna pay for an hour every month to just sit and talk and ask questions. If that's interesting to you at all, let me know in the comments. Um, I feel like launching it within the Patreon in a higher priced tier might be the easiest move, but if there's some reason why a one-off might be better, please share your thoughts. And I also wrote digital product upgrades and launch rate sheet. I think the beauty of my digital products is they really don't need to be updated too often, but digital products are not one of my top three priorities that I wrote for my income stream. So that's why I'm just saying if I have time, that will be my next move. And then I wrote down just kind of a list of specific tasks that I know are coming up. And I think I'm gonna make these monthly goals and just you know, slot them in throughout the rest of the year. So things like wedding content plan and getting started with outlines. I also wrote more YouTube videos that plug digital products because that helps both with ad revenue and also hopefully with digital product sales. Also brand outreach, shooting seasonal content and an IIA 2.0 marketing plan. So those are just some of the things on my task list and my agenda for what's coming up for the second half of 2023. It's 5.30 now and it got so hot in here now that the sun came out. So I think I'm going to throw in the laundry that I still need to do. I might go take a quick lap around the block and then come back and see what else I can finish up for the day. I do want to type some of this up into my Notion. And then I think I'll do a very quick, like a 10 minute core class on Peloton before making a HelloFresh meal for dinner. Oh my gosh, so that was low-key pretty hard. <laughs> also, I did have a hard time filming that, like back there and then all along this console back here is registry stuff, stuff we're getting rid of now that we got some registry stuff in. 
and also stuff saved for the bachelorette and bridal shower it's just like that's where we've been storing it that's where i've been storing it um so it was kind of that's my washer being done yeah so it was just a little hard to like film around that and i don't love the clutter in the videos but also this is a vlog and this is also just my life living in a one bedroom apartment and planning a wedding and creating content and just trying to live but yeah so i'm really glad that that's done i have the oven preheating over there and I am just gonna pick a HelloFresh recipe to start making. I'm gonna switch the laundry also, shower at some point and settle in for a chill night at home. Dinner is done, just took a quick shower, and the dryer just stopped basically all at the same time. So we love that. I'm just waiting for Andrew who is walking from the bus as we speak, but thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and for doing a mid-year reset with me. If you guys want more details about how I like to set goals, whether it's you know at the top of the year, mid-year, if that's when you're watching this video, whenever it is really, I will leave a whole video that I have about that as the up next recommendation on the screen. Be sure to subscribe for more vlogs and behind the scenes content as a full-time micro-influencer, and I'll see you all in the next video.